Build-up to the DA's federal council meeting on Sunday continues. Now, yesterday, the party refused to say if the resignation of its CEO, Paul Bowie, was as a result of an internal report recommending that he steps down. Bowie stepped down from the DA after five years at the helm, saying he has reached an agreement with the party. Now, it's also understood that the report recommends party leader Musi Maimani to step down of the poor performance in the May election. For more on that story, crossing our live to our reporter Itekani Magwedze, who's at the DA's headquarters with spokesperson Siabi Mabine. Itekani, what are we learning this afternoon? And to Good afternoon, Tavo, and to our viewers. Well, it's a day before the Federal Council of the DA sits this weekend uh, to deliberate about the changes and the future of the party uh, and also to elect the chairperson of the Federal Council. Uh, and with the developments that have been throughout this week, uh, we, it, it's safe to assume that uh, the tensions in that council will probably be quite uh, palpable. Uh, this is, of course, with the, the development that uh, uh, the recommendations from that 2019 post-national uh, elections uh, review report have also recommended that uh, the, the leader of the DA, Musima Mani, steps down. But to talk to us a bit more about this and about the report, we're joined by uh, DA spokesperson, <coughs> Mr. Mavina Siabem. So, so first and foremost, we understand that this is a draft report and uh, it's going to be deliberated on tomorrow. But uh, what are some of the things or the, the, the findings that have led to this uh, recommendation, especially of uh, Musi Maimane's uh, uh, recommendation to step down? I mean, just to clarify, I mean, last week, uh, the federal executive of the party uh, deliberated on a draft report and gave its uh, own recommendations. Uh, to the panel. And this weekend, the Federal Council, which is our uh, highest decision-making body when a Federal Congress is not in, in session, will deliberate on a, on, a, on a report that has been finalized. Therefore, it would be wrong for me to speculate uh, the contents of reports that I myself have not seen and that the Federal Council of the Democratic Alliance has not deliberated on. We've seen uh, some of the statements or heard some statements that uh, at, in, in some points have, have been seen to anger some of the members of the DA from Musima Mane, especially ones that talk about white privilege and uh, some in the DA saying the, that this is not the DA way, uh, this is not the type of stuff that DA gets their hands into. Uh, are some of these actions that uh, Musima Mane went into or said, um, do, are, are they some of the things that have pushed so that he, he is recommended to step down? Well, the review is not about an individual or individuals, it's about the organization itself and the organization over the last couple of years because you must remember that the Democratic Alliance used to be a party that used to be isolated or at least local, localized uh, in the Western Cape and Cape Town. Now we're a party that uh, governs across four provinces and uh, the biggest metros. Therefore, we need to look, is the organization geared towards ensuring that uh, we offer the best service to the people of South Africa in uh, uh, those regions? Is the operation that we have geared towards uh, election 2021? So those are some of the answers uh, that the report will give us this weekend. As we stand right now, how much confidence does the party have in Muslim Amani? Well, I mean, as we stand here, he's the leader of the Democratic Alliance, and uh, the leadership changes of the organization happened in the Federal Congress. If it is that the Federal uh, uh, Council tomorrow decides that, uh, agrees that he steps down, what's the procedure from there on? Well, as I stated, it's a federal congress that uh, decides on uh, leadership movements within the organization. Federal council, in terms of our constitution, if we get two-thirds uh, of federal council to agree to a, uh, an early congress, then we'll go to a congress, and all members uh, who believe they're eligible to run for the leadership of the organization are more than willing and able to put uh, their hands up and say, I want to be leader of the Democratic Alliance. Uh, we've seen a, a statement that you sent out from uh, Mr. Maimani saying that uh, change is difficult, but uh, it's necessary. Uh, talking about this weekend as a pivotal time or, or uh, yeah, weekend for, uh, for the party in terms of what it's supposed to change. Uh, is this uh, him signaling that he's willing to step down if the council uh, decides so? 
Well, I can't speculate and, and read between the lines of what Mr. Maimane said, but he's correct in saying that this is a time of change and renewal for the party. We're going to go and elect a new federal council chairperson. That position was occupied for almost two decades by James Self, which means there's going to be a new uh, type of leadership that comes, a leadership that will be supported uh, by Musi Maimane and will work with uh, Musi Maimane as the leader of the uh, Democratic Alliance. So what happens this weekend will be a chance for the, the party to, to renew itself and recommit itself to the people of South Africa. Lastly, uh, we've seen speculations around uh, what people have now called the old guard and, and Tony Leon, uh, Helen Zilla coming in and recommending, well, rather, the rumors were around Tony Leon uh, recommending that Musima Mani steps down. Has this fed into FedEx? Uh, is this what we're seeing uh, in terms of those rumors now become re becoming real? I mean, it's, it's all a matter of debate uh, in the organization. You debate ideas. And that's exactly what we're going to do this weekend. That's what we're going to continue doing to ensure that the democratic alliance that we put forward can continue with the democratic project. Uh, we've seen most political parties wanting to polarize South Africans. We're wanting to bring South Africans together because we honestly believe that uh, the dream of 1994 is not dead. Equally, we believe that the people of South Africa don't believe that dream of 1994 is dead, where we can build a prosperous economy and also work together South Africans across diverse lines. Absolutely. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Siavi. Um, of course, Mavina Siavi, spokesperson of the DA. Um, it's clear, uh, Tabo, it's going to be a very important weekend for the DA, and not only because it's going to be discussing policy and other uh, pivotal matters, uh, especially because of that uh, fact that they're going to be uh, deciding on whether Musi Maimane stays or leaves.